As mentioned in the previous tutorials, you can bring up the effects window by clicking the effects button. You'll see that a couple of different plugin options pop up. On the Mac side, you have plugin support for VSTs and Apple Audio units. On the PC front, it supports VSTs and DXR plugins. Reaper comes bundled with its own set of plugins. The JS plugins are a set of plugins that have been written in Python. So if you're a Python programmer, you can go in and edit these plugins and then save them out as your own modified version. Just click Edit here and you'll see all the Python code. I'm not clued up with Python, so I'm not going to tamper with anything here. Let's just close this window, click Remove here to remove it. And let's add some more. Then there's the rewire category, which lists all your rewire capable applications. You see there's different ways to set up rewire. You got MIDI sent to audio, or audio from rewire, or MIDI from rewire. But we'll get to that in a later tutorial. Instruments tab lists any instruments that are available in Reaper, including third party and Reaper's own. What I like is the recently used section. This will list all your recently used plugins, which is quite nice. So you don't have to scout around for them. You can go here and quickly access your most used plugins. You can use the filter section to narrow down your choice of plugins. This is a really handy feature if you have hundreds of plugins installed. Let's say you want to find a compressor plugin. Just type in comp and your choices will be narrowed down easily for you. Just make sure that if you want the filter to sort through all your plugins, that you have that chosen. Or else it'll only filter the category you have selected. Let's just try that again. Let's take that out. And let's see what delays we have available. And there we go. There's the delays I can choose from. Under my folders, you can create custom folders that list plugins you have chosen. I have a folder listing my audio damage plugins, my Synolxis. So you have got my PSP here, DMG plugins, Mac DSP, Metafilts for my compressors and my delays. And right at the bottom here, I've got folders for my synths that I use. This really helps my workflow as it stops me from browsing through lists and lists of plugins. You find it's very easy to accumulate tons of plugins. Once you add a plugin, the graphic user interface of that plugin will be brought up. Here's Reaper's compressor that I've brought up. You can bypass the plugin here. Here's a selection of presets. You can also make your own user presets if you want. The Param box brings up a list of parameter options. If you go here, and then let's go to show and track controls. Let's just move this window over, but I can't really see what's going on. So go there again. And then you'll see, there's threshold, the last parameter that I moved. This gives you easy access to these controls, instead of having to open the plugin window each time to view these parameters. You also can do the same with envelopes. Just choose that, and you'll see that the envelope views over here. Parameter modulation allows you to add some modulation effects to the plugin. So let's just click on that. And so for example, you could apply an LFO to your compressor. Learn allows you to assign a parameter to a MIDI device so that you can control it remotely. Alias is a nice way to create track controls that may mean more to you than the standard default names. You can change the GUI to a more control-based user interface by clicking the UI button. It's not pretty, but it gives you every control parameter that's available on the plugin as these dials. This button here controls the overall amount of the effect on the signal. So you can dial in anything from 0% dry all the way through to 100% wet of this plugin. Unticking this here bypasses the plugin. You see over there? If you click on these three dots, you can add comments about the plugin that you can refer to at a later stage, maybe to help jog your memory about a parameter or some other info about the plugin. See here I've got, this is Reaper's Compressor. That's just to remind me, it's Reaper's Compressor, whatever you want. You can really write whatever comments you feel. And that's how to make use of plugins in Reaper. Next up I'll discuss Reaper's Media Bay.